<gasps> is that what I think it is? Is that what I think it is? Oh, I've been hoping for one of these. It's a Grisbolt. It is indeed a Grisbolt. We found one. Let's go. That's right. We went on a crazy journey to find the exact place Grisbolt spawn, but it's a dangerous place. Not only are there a lot of other pals which are really strong and could kill you and your friends in an instant, you have to travel across an open sea where most pals will die out of stamina deprivation. And the place is guarded by cops. Yes, that's right. It's illegal to be here. And if you're around too long, well, you're not just going to get pals attacking you. You're going to get shot at. It's really dangerous, really treacherous. But there are definitely certain ways that we can prepare ourselves by getting the right pals to travel across the sea. And that's what I'll be doing today, showing you my journey that allowed me to get to this island and finally get a Grisbolt, perhaps one of the most famous pals from Pal World. And it all began as we searched for a serpent, which was what we decided to get to allow us to cross the ocean safely to get to this secret island. So, to start things off, we are setting out to find a serpent, because... We're going to need to surf a long way onto these mysterious islands. And the best place to start apparently is right here. Apparently, serpents spawn right here. So I left my server running overnight. I had my Vixies picking up the PAL spheres. And look how many I have. 350. Now, on top of that, I have been letting my fox parks run and build up these ingots. So before we go here... We can create some gigaspheres. That's right. These aren't the best spheres in the game, but these are the best ones available on this little easy sphere workshop. And later on, you're going to need big old sphere production lines and a lot more materials, and all that stuff's going to require a bit more work. So we're going to go for gigaspheres, which are basically the best for what we need. And we've got a nice little lamb ball here. So once we've got these made, we are going to start our journey towards this island. Where? On that island, we've got the rarest pals, and they are um, protected. It's like a wildlife sanctuary, and if you get caught on that island, you will be, well, you'll be chased until you die, essentially. So it's going to be a very interesting journey. I'm going to save these gigaspheres for the rare creatures on that island, and of course, use my 350 pal spheres to get ourselves a serpent so that we can of course make our way over to the island because it's the only way to get there like you can you can fly across it kind of works but uh you run out of stamina with most most pals the best way is to do a serpent and i'm gonna go there as soon as possible and show you how it all works there we go we got some gigaspheres now don't go hey where you going dude gotta make one sure thing we give him a little pet because he's a very good little lamb ball you know we don't do any butchering of pals around here. At least not today. Anyway, um, the closest place is a fast travel point about here, which I got earlier. So we can go to our pal box and choose fast travel. And then we just need... Oh, actually, before we go, let me check my party. So I got Daydream, affectionately named Poopy, alongside the Daydream necklace, which means... I can actually have two pals at once to fight alongside me. I got Daydream, um, and also anything else, right? Real nice. So as you can see here, two at once. Really, really cool. So that explains that one. Good choice. I take this Ike Threat Deer because we got a saddle. I got Rush Shore. We can break down some ores if we're there. Tanzi, he's got a machine gun. Pretty cool. Tombat. He's just a strong boy. Okay, so with that being said, I'm pretty happy with my party. Let's make our way to the first travel point here, and then we're going to have to go and search for these serpents. So here we go. Pretty close, to be honest. Now that we're close... Oh, we have 45 arrows as well. You can get crossbows and guns and all that stuff, but uh, I'm going to focus on that in the late game. Right now, my pals are just wonderful i spent all my time just leveling up my pals come here no don't attack yet he's being a little bit aggressive okay so 
Where we need to go here is just down this way a little bit, I believe. Yeah. In this direction. Okay, let's get going. So yeah, look. Daydream is following behind. Very cool. Probably the coolest pal to have in your party if you want to go and fight creatures. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Let's make our way down here. Someone's been building down here. Now, if you didn't know, the server is indeed open. And it's got a 32-player cap. But a lot of people have indeed been busy. Although, this looks like a... Oh, no. Look at this. This is a bandit camp. And they've got a little pal trapped. Hey! This is not acceptable, boys. Go! Take this guy's out. Oh, sorry. Dude, you're in the way, man. This should not take much work. I mean, they're throwing sticks and stones at us. They are level 10, though. Should we try and capture one? I, I, I think you can capture one of these. Let's see. There we go. 9% chance. Should we get a syndicate grenadier? Oh, we almost got him. Have another go. We got so many pal spheres. 38% chance. Oh, we actually got one. Sim <laughs> That's great. They literally throw rocks. Look at, look at my daydream. Oh my god, that is one hit. Okay, let's free this little pal. You know, we've already got one of these, but uh, it's always good to do good on this island. And he goes straight into our um, pal box, which is pretty cool. A nice little way to do it. Right. Uh, let's get back on board. Let's see what's going on here. Someone's been building a base. I don't know if they're online right now, but this is one of the wonderful things of doing an online open server like this. We can see, oh, they've been busy farming wool and power spheres. Yeah, pretty good going. And this is a beautiful place to have a, a, a base. Look at this. Fields of purple and pink. Aha! Is that what I think it is? Oh, not quite. That is a celery. I don't have a celery yet. And I am. Oh, wait. Hold up. Stop. Don't attack. Don't attack. Oh. Well. <laughs> forgot to do that. Um, I am on a mission to capture every single pal. Oh, Van Worm. This one is a flying creature. Which is a good option to get around the map faster. However, it's not going to be good enough for today. We're going to really need to uh, get the serpent. Because we're going to be going across the ocean. Trouble is with this one, it's lower level than uh, I would like it to be. And my creatures will just kill it in one. So let me lower it down with a bow. It was a bit of an unexpected surprise to see this. But we're going to try and, you know, collect as many as we can, of course. And our mission will continue later. Okay. It's got to be easy, surely. Stop attacking my boy. There we go. Escaped again. Wow. Yeah, come on. Nice, finally. So this one is pretty good. Because if we go here. Let's see if we can find it here. Van Worm. Can be ridden as a flying mount. Which is pretty awesome. But like I say, it's not going to be enough for us to get where we need to go. Now, I'm just going to feed everyone some berries, make sure we're all chilled out. Let's go to this fast travel, travel point, activate this, of course. There's a chest there as well. You know, the great thing about Pal World is whilst we did come down here simply to, you know, have a very specific mission in mind, we ended up getting a bit sidetracked, didn't we? All right, now we are almost, almost there. There should be sealants, basically sealants. I forgot what their name is. Serpents in this river somewhere down here. Luckily, there was a fast travel point right here, and here we are. The serpent, and this is what we are going to need to get to that special island. So this is going to be pretty exciting. We got a crossbow, and they don't have too much health, to be honest. Oh, they just broke my shield, though. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. This crossbow might do a bit too much damage. All right, three percent capture rate. Let's try my best. Let's try my best. Okay, fifteen. 
Not good, not good. Let's get rid of this other stuff going on here. Dire wolf in the way as well. It's getting a little crazy. Hold up. Focus on the enemies I shoot. Let's take these guys out. Too many dire wolves. It's getting crazy, boys. And they just killed the serpent. Every last one. My powers are too strong. 179. Okay, that's quite a lot of damage. 4% chance. Let's try it. Now, because I've spent a lot of points, I actually go straight up to 70%, which is not bad, to be honest. I mean, that's like almost a 1 in 5 chance here. And if I get a back shot, maybe we can get higher? I might do a bit more damage to increase the chance here. Come on. There we go. Ah, oh, okay. Tiny bit more damage. I just don't want to kill this thing, you know? There we go. 6%. That's a 21% chance. Almost a 1 in 4. Luckily, I got a lot of power spheres thanks to my um, Vixie farm. We're just going to keep going at it because I don't want to kill this thing. Now there's that on the grass, though. Maybe we could just go and punch it. Okay, 50%. There we go. Nice. That means we can head back now and we can start this journey to the mysterious islands. It's going to be very, very interesting. Mozzarina. Haven't got one of those. Come here, Mozzarina. Yeah, two hits and they're dead. That's the trouble. Don't run! Okay, we can definitely get hit on this one. Okay, maybe go for it now. 3% chance. That is very low. Okay, okay. 11% chance. And that should go up to almost 30% chance. Come on now. Ooh. You can do it. One in three. Nice. 60. Nice. Okay, anyway, it's time to go back and finally start our journey towards this island. But first, I do need to go back to the base here because I need to build the saddle and also put this little guy in our party here. So, here's the serpent. And we're going to take it away from the rush ore. We're not going to need that right now. And now we need to go to the technology tree get ourselves a serpent saddle which should be pretty easy to make in the pal gear work but uh workbench and there it is start production very nice by the way i did actually have a base here but we got raided and these taco tacos i think they were called came and set everything on fire and the whole building just collapsed and at that point i'm like well Let's just keep it simple for now. It is an absolute mess in the future. I do hope to make it look nice and tidy. But for now, we really are going to just leave it like this. And, uh, you know, once we kind of explored a bit more, we'll come back. Found a ruby. Interesting. Don't know what that is for. But either way, I think it's time to chomp on some berries. You know, very convenient berries. And now it is time to set up on our mission. This is where it begins. Now, it, it should be around here in the map from what I know. So, uh, I guess we just get started. Which direction is that? This is actually going to be a really long journey. I don't know what we're going to see along the way. But, uh, well, I guess it's time to find out. Yeah. Look at that. If we stop here, we might be able to glide quite a little while away into the ocean here. Which is my hope to save a bit of time. But the good news about the serpent is we really don't need to worry about running out of stamina. It just doesn't run out of stamina. So we can just go down here straight into the water and surf our way there. Yeah, we got a long way to go, boys. A long way. Right, let's call out the serpent. Come on, let's get on board. There we go. And look at that. Not the fastest. It's still going to be a journey. But we will make our way there into the distance. Let's get going. I like the way Daydream can just swim too. Daydream is doggy paddling above the water. <laughs> That makes perfect sense. Okay. That might just be here, you know. So that giant structure in the distance wasn't just for show. It really is something. Now, we have to remember, 
we are actually entering an area that is essentially a wildlife sanctuary. And what that means is, if we take on any pals, we're in trouble. We're not supposed to. And not only that, there's a lot of guards guarding this place. So it's going to be very, very interesting to explore this and see exactly what we really find here. I'm quite a little bit concerned we may not come back alive. And I've only got one serpent, so you can see what the issue is here, right? If we die, I have no idea how we're getting back. So uh, let's, let's hope we don't die. I think it's time we dismount now. Thanks. There it is, the criminal activity underway. Definitely not supposed to be here. That makes it all the more worth it, doesn't it? Let's make sure we don't attack anything. Keep an eye out for any guards. Look at that. First, look at all these creatures. Aikthrita Deer Terror. A different version. Azerobe, which we saw a boss version of. We're not going to attack that right now. We're going to go deeper and deeper into this cave. And see what we can find. Hopefully we don't come across any guards. I'm, I'm a little bit unsure of how this is going to go. Now there are many islands all over the edge. All at the edges of this map. So we have a lot of exploring to do potentially. Now what is that? A veilet? Like I definitely want to capture all these pals. But I'm being a little bit careful. Heat resistant metal armor schematic. Interesting. There's a lot of ore here as well. So we try and take this veil it. What is this flower? Beautiful flower. Huh. Right then, boys. I am worried how this is going to go. Okay. Not too strong, actually. I think we can do this. To start their attacks. This is the trouble with the, the um, crossbow, right? It's so slow loading. And it does just a bit too much of the, uh, damage, in my opinion. Oh, so that broke my shield in one. I'm just going to keep dodging now. And make sure our shield goes back up before we take any more damage. Otherwise, we're probably dead. Okay. Try and get one reload here. There we go. Try and get a bit more of a crit shot. If you zoom in, I think you do more damage. Shield has taken a while. Oh, that's half my health. Yeah, we need to just watch out for that. In fact, a bit of a way to save time here. We throw a ball. And what's that going to do? Oh, it won't let us. I'm so worried. There we go. It just... Oh, no. We need a better sphere. Okay. We can't even use a normal sphere on this. I am so worried, dude. We kill it. I'm running around, waiting for my shield to recharge. It's not coming. I could just do this. Alright. Whoa. Go on, attack it. I'm just going to keep dodging. That's it. Go, go, go. I'm kind of happy we've got the serpent. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Now we go like that. There we go. Oh no, it burned. That's so awkward. Oof. Okay. An Ike did terror. I just want to see if we can capture this with a pal sphere. Two percent chance. It just like went no. Okay. Attack that bad boy. Go on, go, go, go. Go on, pals. It's quite a good amount of damage. Oh my god, my serpent's almost dead. Oh no. I need to put my serpent away. I just realized the problem here. <gasps> oh no. How are we going to get back? This is a problem. Are we stuck out here? Oh no, there's an Azerobe. I didn't think about that. We are kind of screwed now. How are we going to get back? Well, we're going to have to think about that later. I should have got my Eichthrodeer out. These are tough. Alright. Here we go. We're going to try and go for this Azerobe here. It's just one, right? Here we go, boys. Oh, wow. 
I thought it was just too strong. Just killed everything. This is not a good look. Uh-oh. Oh, I've been spotted. Oh, no. Get them. Okay, capture him, capture him. Ugh. Capture rate 0.03%. Oh, God. That is not good. We've been wanted. What is this? Is it just normal ore? Yeah, just normal ore. Another Azerobe. Okay, right. We need a slightly weaker pal to come out here. Tansy might do. Alright. Focus on the same en enemy here. Let's go for this Azerobe. I think we should just get Daydream out because two creatures is too much. They die too fast. So he's sleeping right now. We can get a 2% chance of catching this. I think we're going to go for a shot instead. Come on. Let's go. They're actually quite weak. I don't want Daydream to attack. What are those? Are they homing? Okay, here we go. Ooh. That's not a high chance. At all. Ooh. Wow. I'm going to keep trying with the power spheres for now. Alright, here we go. Gigasphere time. 28%. Come on. Don't make me waste my gigaspheres. Oh no, daydream. Poopy. Come on, let's get this as a robe. No way. Come on. 50-50. There we go. Nice. Awesome. That was a lot harder than it was. That was a lot harder than I expected. Poopy is dead. Serpent is dead. Ikthrodea, Tombat. We are kind of in a bit of a situation. How are we going to get home? Alright, it's time to go back with half our crew dead. I hope you can swim a little bit. I really do. Otherwise, we are going to struggle to get home. I think we might need to make sure our serpent doesn't die. Seems like the Ikthrodea's stamina is running out, and I'm not sure what will happen when it reaches zero. Oh, we're still moving. We're lucky this place was super close. Uh-oh. Ikthrodea is about to go as well. Ikthrodea is literally drowning, saving us, allowing us to get back. This is not going well at all. Oh, no. Now it's just me. Well, good news is, if you have one mount, you can sacrifice them to get home. Oh my god. That did not go as it expected at all. We need more serpents, I think. Might just have to go back home. Our base was right there. Well, it was somewhat successful. So at this point, I had to walk all the way back to my base. It wasn't a fun journey. I then had to wait for my pals to heal up. And in the meantime, I collected resources to get a saddle for that new pal that I just caught. Because that one could ride the waves across the sea as well. Now the thing about this wildlife sanctuary, every time you go there, the spawn seem to change a little bit. And I really wanted to go there because, like I said, it seems like Grizzbolts have a chance to spawn. So after almost dying the first time, I was more prepared. I had two pals this time that could swim back and some pals that could help me fight as well. So we're more than capable of collecting a Grizzbolt in case we do find one. Now, no matter what happens, I have a serpent here. 
if things go really really bad it will be okay the serpent will be my escape out of here all right we made it here let's see what kind of creatures are here this time up we go oh i see one there in the water what is that hold up a minute talia oh okay here we go two percent chance of capturing come on now eight percent chance not great i have to hit them again Oh my god. Whoa. There we go. 15%. 42. Ooh. Come on now. Nice. Ah. Uh. Nice. Awesome. Climbing up the rocks. That was different to last time. So that is a good start. There's another one of those deer. A load of these flowers. Another azarobe. Interesting. <gasps> is that what I think it is? Is that what I think it is? Oh, I've been hoping for one of these. It's a Grisbolt. It is indeed a Grisbolt. We found one. Let's go. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. The infamous Grisbolt. Here we go. Oh my god. Might have to get you to attack them a little bit. Just a little bit. Here we go. Hopefully the guards won't come. Go for it, guys. That's it, that's it. Okay, don't attack, don't attack, don't attack. Stop, 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 stop. Don't burn, don't burn. What's that? 0.2% chance. Ah, oh, he's coming for me. We need a better sphere. We need a better sphere. And he's on his way. Oh my god, he's so mad. There's a lot of zaps. Woo. Woo. Here we go. 31% chance. Oh, that is good. That's a Gigasphere. 50-50. Oh, we got it. Nice. My first Grisbolt. And there's another one. There is another one here. I mean, we may as well focus on the same enemy. Go for it. Go for the Grisbolt. Go, boys, go. Come on out. Get some damage in the way. All right. There we go. Don't attack, don't attack. That's quite a lot of damage. Don't die now, Zerobe. Ooh, 84% chance. Well. Yeah, oops. Let's see what other creatures are on this island. There may be even more. Which I'm very, very curious about. Anyway, first, we might as well go like this. Come on, little dear. Alright, that's enough damage. That's enough damage. Something is doing flame attacks, and I don't like it. 18%. Oh, no. Oh, what is that? Something else. We came back this time, and there's a bunch of stuff. Oh, God. I don't want to waste all my gigaspheres on this thing, because we've already got one like this. Oh, okay, there we go. Come on. 36%. Easy. No. Come on. Come here, come here. There we go. My Azerobe! Luckily, we've got the serpent to get back. I would be screwed. All right. Nice. What else we got over here? A pen king. Aha. All right. Let's send out my fox parks. Go on then, guys. That's it. Over there. Get that pen king. Oh, he doesn't have much health. Oh, there's guards, there's guards. Uh-oh. 
Whoa. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. 15% chance. Let's go. 35. 65. Oh, come on. Ow. Come on, boys. One in three. One in three. Nice. No. I'm gonna do one more bullet attack. One more little bit of damage. I don't like this crossbow, actually. It takes so long. There we go. 24%. 45. That's gotta be it. Oh, we got it. Look at all these new high tier pals we've just gotten. High grade technical manual and a sapphire. Obtain a few technology points. So there we have it. A very impressive island that can be a great place to find really great pals. If you find anything cool here, let me know. I think I'd like to go and try and get a shiny Grisbolt. I think that would be amazing to see if you'd like to see that. Please don't forget to subscribe. There'll be plenty more content coming. And uh, yeah, maybe if we get lucky, we could find a shiny Grisbolt. We'll have to see though. This entire island, we just got two spawns this time. That would be the dream though, wouldn't it? Maybe we'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheerio.